Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm going to show you how I uh, make my own bucktail jigs uh, for ice fishing and uh, stripper fishing. It's a two-step process really. I um, paint the jig heads uh, myself and then I tie them up. So um, this is what the end result is going to look like. I'll take you right to the first step right now so you don't waste any time. And this is the first step and it's going to be uh, painting your jig heads. Um, so basically, this is all you really need. You need a heat gun, the jig heads. You can always buy painted ones and or just use them plain like this. Um, just blanks and then um, a pair of forceps and some powder paint. And if you've never used powder paint, it's really cool stuff. Um, I think this brand is uh, Protec Power Paint. I'll show you, it's just a really fine powder. And you can put it into a, a gun and spray it out, but uh, for this, basically, all you need is a uh, heat gun. And, you will, and I'll show you how to do that. This stuff is extremely durable, it's high quality stuff. And once you put it on, and it's dried. Um, if you put it in the oven for about uh, 10, 10 to 20 minutes, it makes it even stronger. And this stuff is, I mean, ridiculously strong. And I use it on trolling spoons and jig heads. So let's get into it. And one other thing you might want to get is I put this piece of wire up here. You can see it, it goes from here all the way over to here. It's just to hang them on so they can cool because these things get really hot. I got a whole bunch of these uh, jig heads. These are called um, banana style jig heads. And there was just some guy on eBay that, that pours these. And I bought a bunch of them from him for really cheap. And I got a um, quarter ounce and three eighths ounce. So that's what it looks like. That's the banana jig head. So uh, what you want to do first is you want to get your container pound it, get the um, powder kind of aerated, nice and light and fluffy. And then you want to take your forceps, clip onto your um, jig head, heat it up. And make sure it gets heated nice and evenly. You just want to dip it in. off the access. You see it's it's colored and uh, mostly covered. And you can kind of smooth it out by heating it back up again. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty good like that. God dang it. Well, that frickin' sucks, doesn't it? Well, there. Apparently, my uh, dehumidifier was running. It's on the same circuit. It's all the plugs and stuff down here. And this thing, uh, I guess, overloaded it. She popped the breaker by. Whew. 
Got it back. All right. Just uh, show you kind of. There should be about 50 of them up here. I, I think I used them all, so um, I just went ahead and colored all of them, and um, you know, did did a couple different things. Some uh, multicolored, black and white, blue and white, candy red, candle, candy purple, candy blue, the natural with black on the top. Of course, the white, white with red. I made a brown out of the red and black, black, chartreuse, green, chartreuse, and orange, and orange. They don't have to really dry, I mean they just have to cool down, and this stuff is, it's rock hard, you can't scrape it off or anything, you can bang it off rocks and chip it, just like you would buy a jig head at the store. Um, and once you bake it in the oven, it's even stronger, so we'll do that next, and uh, I won't show you that. So after I do that, I'll just uh, meet you guys up at the uh, at my tying bench. So um, this is one of the one I tied just a little while ago, um, and that's the uh, three eighths ounce. Um, I put a little eye on there. Um, it's just in the chartreuse color. I think I'll use this one for stripers. Put um, some crystal flash on here, and I'll show you how to do all this stuff uh, in a little bit, and we'll tie some different colors and stuff. So what you're gonna need to tie with. <coughs> Uh, it's pretty simple. You just need some thread. Red's a pretty common color to use with like white. Um, um, or if you want to blend it with whatever, whatever color bucktail you're using, just you know, there's different color threads: greens, browns. I got a pink, black, yellow, all this stuff. Um, and uh, you'll also need, if you want to add some flash to it, some crystal flash. You can get this in. A bunch of different colors. I, I have purple and blue, green, I have a red, I have a bunch of different colors. Uh, but this is pretty basic color right here. Works with pretty much everything. Uh, it's just the white crystal flash. Now you also want to use some type of head cement to uh, glue around the threads when you're done. Just to make sure it doesn't come unraveled on you. So the big thing with bucktails that you need to know is you don't want to just take a big piece of fur and just slap it on there. Um, it's really about building it up. And you can build it as thick as you want, but you want to do it in pieces. Here's the chartreuse bucktail that I have. And this is a full size bucktail. And you want to make sure when you get the bucktails it's a nice quality uh, of fur. You want it to be able to be really pliable because you want that, that movement in the water. Some tails you get will be really stiff and they just they don't have much action and it's, um, so a good quality bucktail is important and uh, if you don't want to spend the money on a full bucktail which they're really not that much they're around six dollars um, this is how much this one was you can get um, smaller pieces like this and this is only a dollar fifty and that'll that'll make you quite a few jigs if you're just making a few for yourself and there's just a few different pieces in there. You know, I've got I've got black and red. I just got these as uh, these are my usually my accent colors, so I don't need as much of them. And if you want to try different colors, it's a good way to to get into it. But so this is the bucktail, and what you want to do first is I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use red thread again just because I like that. It gives it a little something to key in on, and you just want to tie in right on the neck. Trap that thread, and you want to trim it. And then what you want to do is you want to get a piece of bucktail. <clears throat> Since this is a pretty small jig, I'm just going to go with this small piece. And you want to cut it back right down next to the hide. Trim that piece off. So this is what you got right here. 
you trimmed it off. You want to make sure not to move this much because you want the ends to kind of stay even. And uh, if you want to line that up, see that's probably, that's a little long for me. Um, you want to line it up to about where you want it. I'm going to make this one fairly short. I kind of want a short, compact um, little jig here. So you kind of measure where you want it. And then you just trim with your scissors. Trim with your scissors right where you want it. And you want to lay right where you trimmed, right about where you think your thread's going to stop. Because you don't want that fur sticking out beyond the thread and it'll look really sloppy and not clean. So you want to lay that down, go over it with one loose wrap, and maybe another loose wrap so you can still kind of adjust it. And then just kind of see how that sits. And now you can kind of cinch it down a little bit and make a few more wraps just to lock it in place. That looks pretty good. So there's one piece. Alright, now we want to get another piece of hair here. Now we've got this long piece. And you want to lay it right next to the one that you just tied in. You want to measure it out again. Line up the tips with the ones that you just put on. Right about there. And then you just want to stack it right next to the one that you just put on. Do a nice loose turn. Another loose turn so you can kind of lock it in place here. Get it into place. And then you can kind of cinch it down a little bit. Give it a couple good wraps. And you can kind of work it, work it around a little bit. Trim it to about where the other ones are. See if I can do this on the reverse side so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Stack it right next to that other one that you put on, the first one. Do a nice loose turn. Another loose turn, kind of adjust it a little bit. Now you can give it a couple good, good cranks. Now to do the back side, I'm going to just flip this over so it's easier to get at. Lock that in there. I think I might only need one or two more pieces to fill this out. And at this point, if you wanted to do a different color on the top, you could do that here. Um, but this jig is just going to be all chartreuse. So. Square it off. Square off very good, did it? And we'll add that right to it. I think that's all I'm going to need. I'll give it a few good wraps here, kind of. Lock it all on there, see what that looks like. Yeah, I think that's good. I don't want a lot of hair on there. I want it to be kind of a smaller profile. And then we just want to kind of cover up all the ends. And 
make it nice and neat make everything nice and even so it kind of flows right into the head that looks pretty good and then here is where if you want to tie in some some flash that's this is where you do that and here it is and basically this stuff's pretty easy just kind of grab you know anywhere from five to ten strands and then you just kind of measure it see where you got to cut it and then that gets tied in right at the midsection of this lure it's kinda hard to get this on here at first but you want to lay it on there about where you want it and do a really loose wrap and then cinch it down because if you do a nice t if you do a tight wrap it'll move the um, the crystal flash down and it won't be right right where you laid it so that's pretty good we'll just t cinch that down on there Alright, so now we got that all on there. You want to kind of pull everything back and then just cover up everything. Make sure you can't see that crystal flash. You just tie it in through the threads. Make everything nice and tight and clean. Everything kind of even. That looks pretty good. Now, I'm just going to whip finish it. And if you don't have a whip finisher, which is what this is, this little tool, um, uh, you can just do it. basically just does a bunch of half hitches just to lock the thread on. So, but I'm going to use my whip finisher. It's just easier, faster. There, so that's all We're basically done. Now I'm just going to trim that off. Trim off that. And then if you want to uh, take your crystal flash and just kind of trim up the, the ends of it, line it up with the end of your bucktail, that side looks good. And then you want to take some of your head cement and just put that across all the threads so it kind of soaks into it so that knot doesn't come undone. If you want to go a little further with it, you can put on some of these uh, little sticky eyes. Uh, these are just uh, silver prism, uh, I think they're like 316 size eyes. And they pretty much just peel right off and you just stick them on like a sticker. And so there it is. We've got a nice little bucktail there. Chartreuse color. It's a glow chartreuse head. So you can kind of charge it up before you drop it down. So I'll tie up a few other colors here. And uh, then uh, you guys can have at it. Probably just put it in a time lapse. And it'll start now. here for you see what it looks like some blue some purple and the white belly
Uh, I just tied a few more. Um, just kind of winging it. You know, it's kind of cool. Like, I just tied this one. I don't even know what it is. I just put some green, black, and red in there with a red head. Don't know. We'll try it. But that's the fun of it. You just make whatever you want, whatever colors, and uh, find out a pattern that works really good for you. These are all the ones that I just made. You know, it's pretty easy. A beginner fly tire could definitely tie these. Uh, it's, it's not very hard. And, uh, you know, if you want to buy a jig head that's already painted, make it a little easier for you, that's fine. But it's, it's, I think it's kind of fun, you know, doing the colors that, you know, trying different colors and everything. And just so you can get a comparison, this is one that I bought from a store. Um, I don't know what brand it is, but uh, that's what the store brand looks like. But I hope this uh, video is useful for you guys, and uh, if you guys haven't already, uh, please subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time.